Welcome to Geek's Corner Part 2 of our Walt Disney World Katie's Birthday Adventure. I'm Mr. Daps. I'm Katie. And uh, we thought we would go through the second half of our trip while we are back here in California in the Geek's Corner Studio, Daps Studios, whatever, whatever you want to call this. Um, when we left you, we were at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We'd had a fantastic time uh, seeing Pandora, seeing all the Star Wars offering at Disneyland Ho Hollywood Studios. And uh, now we're going to pivot into the second half of the trip, which was much more flexible. <laughs> and um, a lot more uh, seat of our pants, fly by the cuff, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Because um, we just didn't really plan as much for the second half other than Tuesday was partially planned. So uh, Tuesday we started at the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing we actually did was we saw the um, the trolley show, but there was no trolley because there was this really big blue wagon Yeah, that was really cool. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and so we saw that and then we went on, I believe it was a small world, right? Yes. I think we went on. It's a small world. Um, it's shorter. It's faster. It's brighter, I think. It says goodbye to you by name. That was pretty cool. If you scan with your fast pass, but unfortunately, Mr. Daps did not. Uh, so it wasn't, it wouldn't show his name. It just didn't like me. It did, didn't. Um, but it said goodbye to you. It said my name. It was pretty cool. It, it was, was very fun. It was one of those things that was really cool, but also like, how did it know? This is weird. The real how did it know was what we was, did next. Uh, well, we did Peter Pan after. Oh, you're yeah. right. We did go on Peter Pan. What do you think of Peter Pan? That's a little bit different than uh, here so, in California. Like, I obviously love Peter Pan here, um, and it's in concept the same, but it's really cool in Florida. Mm -hmm. Like, Well, it's interesting because it's... A newer version of an older ride that feels older. I wish there's a couple rides in Florida that you almost get disappointed that you did Fast Pass because the standby queue is really cool. Mm -hmm. And this was one of the attractions that I was like, I really wish we did standby. I actually wish the along that line flights of passage wasn't so long for standby because going through and seeing some of the stuff that the standby line sees, I would really have liked that as well. Yeah. Because um, we still had the theming, we just missed out on a lot of the deeper elements that are made to suck up time mm -hmm. and distract people from the wait. Even Haunted Mansion with that. Yeah, there's so many things. Um, Space Mountain also, they mm -hmm. have like interactive little blasters and things to distract people. And I was going through Fast Pass and I was like, but I want to play with blasters! Uh, but this was one of those things, especially since I think the queue was redone within the last year. A couple of years ago, yeah. Um, and it was one of those things I was like, I want to see it. I want to see it. But I also want to get on the ride. Yeah. And then the ride itself is very, like, parts of it are very similar to what we have in California. But, like, the voices feel much older. Yes. The music is a lot less, um, I guess it doesn't tell as much of a story in the same way that here in California it does. Um, it is pretty cool to look at. Yeah. Which was interesting because some of it was, like, way, way more advanced and other parts were, like, way more like I felt in general the audio was way behind what we have here in California Definitely. but some of the visuals were really cool um so then after we went on Peter Pan mm -hmm. then we went to the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and uh we were able to get fast pass for that as well yes. and um and so you've never been on this before because it wasn't in existence the last time you were at Walt Disney World Eight years ago um what do you think of it that was I was very, I had set my expectations low mm -hmm. because people had said it was a great ride, but they all said it's a minute and a half. It is short. So I went on it and it did not feel a minute and a half short. It okay. felt shorter, um, but it didn't, every time I kept thinking it was over, I was like, oh, there's still more. Oh, mm -hmm. more is still happening. Um, I thought the animatronics were very well done, which it kind of seems like that's the way we're going with animatronics, mm -hmm. is projecting faces and... Mix between practical and, and projection. Which I think is interesting. Um, but I liked the movement of the cars. I thought the swinging back and forth was really fun. Um, almost scary at times if you don't know what's going to happen. Um, because I didn't know that the cars did that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, here's where I die. Like, <laughs> But I didn't. It's the way it goes. It's fun when you know it's going to happen. What would you rate it against other faster rides? Like, um, how would you... I... Thrill Factor? It's not that exciting. Um, it's just fun. It's just fun. And mm -hmm. I think the theming is incredibly well done. Yeah. Um, but, like, Thrill Factor, it's not terribly exciting. I would prefer Everest or even Big Thunder, which I think is kind of in the same realm as... So about how about um, Theme Factor, then? Hmm. 
I, I, it's hard to rate it on theme factor. Um, I would say two thumbs up because I can't. If I go one to ten, I like my heart can't do that because then. Where would you put it? Like, what other attractions would you put it in the same That's hard. arena for you? Um, I, f- I feel like most things in Disney World, honestly. I mean, except for Small World, but. This is a hard. This is a harder question than mm-hmm. like it would be along the same lines like Expedition Everest or Kilimanjaro Safari, like the incredibly immersive. Mm-hmm. Maybe not as immersive as those. Step down. Okay. But still, well done. Cool. Yes. Um, what was your favorite part of it? Um, I I really liked the end where they're all in Snow White's cottage and it's all the dwarves and there's birds. Which very much reminded me of the original scene or like one of the opening scenes in the original and um, Snow White attraction. Same with here. Um, Cool. So then we went on Haunted Mansion. We didn't talk about the scary thing with seven dwarves. What was the scary? Oh, talk about the scary thing. I forgot about that. um, We didn't scan our magic bands because we had paper fast passes for seven dwarves. And then at the end, we got off, and we're like, there's no place for pictures. You can't touch your magic band anywhere. That's really weird. And then we're like, okay, well, we'll have to go to um, a kiosk or something and figure it out with PhotoPass and get try to get it loaded. Um, what time did we go on? We're documenting all of this. Then we're sitting at lunch, and my phone lights up. It's like, you have a new PhotoPass experience. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I have a what? And I look, and it's uh, the pictures, and it was... Very and it was for everyone in our group because so we were in two separate cars. So mm-hmm. For everyone in our group, all of our pictures showed up. It scanned us somehow. I don't know how. We never touched our magic band anywhere. That's I want answers. It was, was I know I like the magic idea. I mean, it's a little bit scary from a Big Brother's perspective, <laughs> but um, I did like the fact that it happened. I thought it was yes. really cool. Um, next, we went on Haunted Mansion yes. again, which is always fantastic, always a lot of fun, and we had fun with that as well. Love it. Then we went back on People Mover, if I recall. No. We that didn't. was, um, we... My pictures show us going on People Mover next. That wasn't that day. Because then... Yes. But look, it's right there. Okay, but that, we didn't go on it. Maybe that was when you uploaded your Kim? No, nope, it's right there. Okay, no, because we went to lunch, we went to Haunted Mansion, mm-hmm. and then... I took the castle picture and then I left. Hmm. We didn't go on People Mover that day. We only went on People Mover the first day. Okay. Well, what will we do next? <laughs> um, after Haunted Mansion, we boogied out because we had dinner reservations at California. I Grove. went on People Mover. Wow. You left to go get ready and I went on People Mover. I was like, I remember going on People this Mover. This is what betrayal feels like, guys. I went on the people mover. It was great. Uh, so then we all met up later for California Grill for yeah. dinner. Talk about that. That was incredible. Um, there was two things that my trip was sculpted around, and that was Epcot for my actual 21st and my old store manager of my old stores, so like two store managers ago, uh, would tell me about there's this restaurant on top of the contemporary it has an amazing view of fireworks and you need to go there. So for the last two years, I've obsessed over this idea of whatever it was. I figured out the restaurant name um, and blindly, not even knowing what food they had, I was like, I need to do this. Like Sarah recommended it. I need to do it. Mm-hmm. And it did not disappoint in the slightest. Uh, dinner was fan- uh, fantastic. Well, I think you should start with, we get off the elevator, you turn right, we've got our whole group and you walk out into this lounge and it's just like, Bam! It's there's all Walt Disney glass World. windows, and you can see Disney World to the right. And then if you walked around, you could see Epcot, you could see Hollywood Studios, you could see Disney Springs. You can literally see everything. Mm-hmm. And it's this really surreal experience because you know how big the parks are, and you're like... This looks tiny. Oh, my God. And you can see everything. And yeah. you know how distance-wise it's a drive to even mm-hmm. get between them, and you can see literally everything. It's the most surreal Feeling the view was absolutely gorgeous, and we saw the the sunset there um, right as dinner was ending. Yeah, and it was absolutely fantastic. And so we got some cool shots, and I'm sure we'll get up somewhere at some point. Who knows? We'll figure it out. And um, and then uh, you could see the castle, you could see everything, and um, we had an awesome server. Yeah, he was great, and uh, he surprised me with the cupcake. These are I was telling somebody about it earlier. I was priced twice with cupcakes, once at uh, Skipper Canteen, mm-hmm. and then once at California Grill. 
And as a kid, whenever we would go to restaurants, like, they would always say, like, oh, it's Katie's birthday because, like, you know you're going to get, like, a milkshake or mm-hmm. a cupcake. Or... But as an adult, it's something that you don't expect to happen anymore. It's like, I'm an adult. They don't do that anymore. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. they don't give you cupcakes because it's your birthday. You just... Whatever. Mm-hmm. So they were both incredibly shocking experiences for me both times where I was like, oh, you're giving me a cupcake? <laughs> and I think I have multiple pictures that show that where I'm like shocked or in awe or mm-hmm. whatever. Because <laughs> cupcakes, it's the little things. Mm-hmm. Well, and the food there was great as well. That's the service fantastic. was great. Like, I have nothing but good things to say about California Grill. Yeah. Um, after California Grill, we hopped on the monorail, went over to the Polynesian, had um, some fun experiences at Trader Sam's, where the absolute best wait staff or skippers, whatever they called themselves, were there. The best part for me so was they had a hippopotamus drink, and the guy walked out with a little <laughs> wood like kids toy hippopotamus with four little wheels that he was walking Telling like pulling everyone, she's vicious stay back she bites and yeah. it was just this little like four inch wood toy yeah. toad <laughs> hippopotamus it was hilarious um everything like there was locals there the staff was great the ambiance was absolutely fantastic it was a fun um experience is really the only way to describe mm-hmm. it um i really wanted to sit inside we kind of were those vultures waiting for other people to leave we got lucky we I mean, did really. we got really lucky some we people made... were leaving right as we walked in so. yeah so we grabbed those tables and i'm so glad we sat inside it's, i can only like i'm sure outside same menu same everything but the inside experience there's certain drinks get ordered and you have to yell certain things mm-hmm. or you have to swim if all the lights go down or whatever but <laughs> It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so we were there for an hour or two, and then we hopped back on the monorail, went back to the Contemporary, back up to California Grill, and got to go out on the balcony and watch Halloween, or Hallowishes. I almost said Halloween Screams, but that's California. Yeah. Um, Hallowishes from the roof, which was absolutely awesome. Um, that's another surreal experience, because... Um, <clears throat> you're higher than a lot of the fireworks. You're higher than a lot of the fireworks, and when you're inside the resort everything just kind of feels so close Mm -hmm. and from where we were we can watch everything shoot off and we can see where all the exact launch points were that was so interesting i was Mm -hmm. like oh they're launching by space oh they're launching over here like watching everything the way it like as it was happening we could still see like half the projections on. and i'd love to see happily ever after from up there that would be something else and they did pipe music Mm -hmm. something we weren't sure if they did um no it was really cool the entire experience and you don't have you're not wall-to-wall people watching fireworks you're Mm -hmm. watching it from up above you can grab a drink you can do whatever you can watch it while you're eating dinner yeah it was really cool so nice yeah um so it was a great end to um your official birthday celebration like that was the birthday dinner and you couldn't have asked for anything better i don't think definitely not um next morning i think we're pretty much really tired at the end of that day oh next morning we got up went to epcot and started the day off if i recall with uh journey into imagination in imagination where you got to experience figment i did what do you think of figment's ride i so i had no idea what to expect yeah um nobody knows what to expect with figment i i want a figment bow tie just saying <laughs> that'd be so anybody fun. out there if you can make a figment bow tie i'd be really happy I was very interested to see what the pre- previous iterations of the attraction looked like, mm-hmm. um, because I've heard less than positive things from locals about the current um, state of the attraction and what's been made of Figment and whatever. So I, I really want to dig deep and find in some depth like what the original iterations looked like. I liked it though, mm-hmm. like with me coming from not having any idea, uh, I really liked it except for the smell part. Yeah, the skunk. Yeah. Um, so from there, we went over to um, World Showcase. You got to experience O Canada's Circle Vision <laughs> with Martin Short yes. and the true people of what Canada is like, Those not are just my snow. So you liked it? Yeah. It's Canadians and Irish. Those are my people. Mm-hmm. And those were right next to each other at Epcot. So, because you had the Irish um, food and wine mm-hmm. booth. So it's, I could have just stayed there and I would have been true to my heritage. And they were very good. <laughs> they were very good. They were incredible. Um, I believe we went to France next and watched um, Impression de France. <laughs> I knew you were going <laughs> to... Yes, we did. Yes. Um, what did you think of that one? 
I liked it. I, I think know, it's just a beautiful film. It is. Um, I know for a lot of people, some of the Circle Visions or the films, because I know that one's not Circle Vision, um, some of the films can get a little dull mm-hmm. and they don't want to, but I think all of them are just so well done. And I think they do a very good job of capturing mm-hmm. um, the country the way it's meant to be. Um so yeah, that was my note on kind of all the circle visions and the movies and the experiences that it's all very true. Mm-hmm. Um, even the girl, because um, they always have people true to the country. She from the country. From yeah, you know what I meant. Uh, and she was like, "This is my country. Like, I hope you all enjoy it. This is what I'm proud of." Um, it was very cool. Yeah. Um, we also got to eat escargot there. Yeah. What do you think of that? I liked it. I was so disappointed proud of you. because um, it was a garlic pesto croissant. And I was so full, and I didn't want garlic, and I really liked it, but I was like, I can't finish this, because then even for the rest of the day, I could taste garlic. Yummy. And I was just like, I wanted to finish it, so I made Mr. Naps finish it. It was good. I was not complaining. You weren't, but it was um, really good. Is that, and then following that, is that when we had the giant pretzel? It we did something in between then, but that's probably what we did the giant pretzel. We took some pictures, I think, and then had the giant pretzel. Yeah. And then in in Germany, which was absolutely amazing, it's on the da- or the Geeks Corner Instagram. <laughs> it's bigger than my head. It was awesome. We had a photo shoot with this pretzel. Yeah, and yeah, this really awesome. Do you iPhone. remember the cast member's name? It was with the J. I don't remember. I don't remember either. But he was really great. And then from there, we went into. Um, the test track lounge with your dad again who's awesome thank you clay that was a really cool experience to get to twice and uh, go on test track again which was um i mean it's just awesome and this time we got much more competitive because um and tied <laughs> and we tied that was fun uh, our car building got very competitive mm-hmm. uh and we were trying to figure out who was better and at the end of each section you see who's first and mm-hmm. whatever and so we're yelling at each other. Like I felt bad going. for the poor guy that was single rider in our group. Like, oh, you're not we're, with us, but we're going for this. Yeah, we were like yelling like, ah, I got mm-hmm. first. And then it ended up that our scores overall were the exact same at 203. It was really, which so. probably, I don't even know if that's good or not. It's probably not. Like people are only 203. Well, the top score of the day was like 240 or something. So, so we, we have, we have some room for improvement. Not far off. Okay. Um, from there, we caught a boat. And went over to Disney's Hollywood Studios um, to catch the Muppets again, which is great because we went on it twice or went to it twice, and both times it was completely full, and it was taken care of and just beautiful and a lot of fun to see. I miss um, the Muppets so much. We saw the little stormtrooper kids, like it was two big stormtroopers with two little stormtroopers, which was absolutely <laughs> adorable and um, definitely one of the highlights I think of of that day. And um, from there, we went back to Magic Kingdom, took some pictures. It really was all about waiting for fireworks. Yeah, and getting um, a really good spot. Cause we, and we got right in front of the castle in the front part of the hub, basically like between the, probably halfway between partner statue and the castle. Um, and so we got to watch from there. And, and actually, that's where the thumbnail image for this episode came from was from while we were waiting for while we were watching the show there and uh, it was nice that time because i wasn't videoing it so i was able to pay attention a little bit more to the music and all that stuff going on um so the question coming up now having seen twice what was your favorite part oh my gosh i should have known this question was coming oh you should have i should have i should have prepared i think mine was the hunchback of notre dame section i just really love like i love that movie in general paris um and it's just a great story but um i thought how they use the projections and the music it was just fantastic i do really love the entire i can go the distance section because i like the re yeah i it, like the re-recording of that it is such um i think hercules that's my other favorite general, part is such an amazing movie that does not get utilized the mm-hmm. way it should I, I feel like most disney movies that don't get utilized the way they should are fantastic yeah but hercules especially and seeing an entire segment set to I Can Go the Distance. And a really good recording of it. I liked it way better than any of the ones I've heard before. Yeah. That would actually go up there pretty high for me, too. Yeah. Um, so after that, we were frozen, so we bought sweatshirts. Um, we, it was so cold! I was trying to think of a funny name, like the trio of, of I don't know, it the was frozen like 58 degrees. the frozen troop um i don't know but we all bought the same so fr- sweatshirts it was funny um and then went and saw uh country bear jamboree yes we did which was a blast i love 
Country Bear Jamboree, and it's it's one of those things that I know it couldn't survive in Disneyland because we don't. It should. We almost don't have the right culture for it. You almost need to be that southern experience to mm-hmm. appreciate it. Okay. No, I think so. I, I do. Know. I do think there. You have to enjoy the Midwest or the country. I think. Yes. It, I, it's I, I don't, a country I don't kind think of it's thing. the right place for California. That's why they tried to switch it over to Vacation Country Rare Jamboree before it went away here. Because mm-hmm. they were trying to get something different to maybe draw crowds in. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was so fun. And there was um, people in the theater that probably do it every night or it's their tradition because there was a lady down the row from us and she's singing and there's people behind us singing and these people know all of the words to all well, it's of probably like we used to be with the muppets when it was in dc exactly and, but it made yeah. me so happy that it's it's these things that didn't get appreciated at home that you go to florida and you see it being and they're appreciated. Packed. like yeah. it was it was probably half full to two-thirds full at 10 30 on a was it Wednesday night? Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday night, which was ridiculous to me. Um, so we saw that and then made our freezing way, which really wasn't that cold. It was 57 degrees. But um, for us Californians, that's cold. And um, for Florida. And for Florida, sure. And then we went over and saw Philhar Magic, yeah. which I love Philhar Magic. I think it's it's such an incredibly brilliant um, uh, show. I, I wish some of the animations would get updated mainly for some of the live, or not the live action, but like the people type characters. Um, I actually think Donald and Mickey look pretty good yeah. in their digital form, but I'd like to see more from that. I know it made you a little bit queasy just from the movement and the 3D and all that fun stuff. It but did. I'm one of those boring people who can't necessarily handle Star Tours or um, Soren actually, when it was Soren But you did California. well on Flights of Passage. Although you took Dramamine. I did take Dramamine. That's right. Never mind. Um, and I also have heard Flights of Passage doesn't normally bother people with motion sickness issues. Um, so whenever California used to get me when you would fly over LA and it would be all the lights, I'd be mm-hmm. like, oh, I don't like this. Um, it bothered me a little bit, mainly because I think there was so much flying and spinning and what have you, and it was animation, as where Muppets doesn't bother me as much because it's practical. Okay. Um, I actually thought that, like, the one specifically that blew me away was the animation for Ariel. Like, I thought that was gorgeous. And I was yeah, like, there, there are some really pretty moments. Yeah, I was like... And even, like, the background a- animations through the entire thing are gorgeous. Yeah. I and was very surprised. I thought it was a very cute concept. Like, I loved the entire thing. Um, if it just didn't make you motion sick, it'd be great. Yeah, exactly. Like, cool. if I had been gotten a heads up and taken some drama, I mean, I'd have been good to go. Yeah, I should have planned that better. Eh. Um, we ended the night by taking pictures around basically New Fantasyland, and, and a few things like that wandered out. Next morning, we started at Animal Kingdom. Yes. Looking at my pictures, I know it has to be true. <laughs> and um, really, the primary reason we went there was to get the, the mug that's updating that will be on this wall at some point. You may it's, have noticed. It's right there. Oh, no. Animal nope, Kingdom. I don't have it. I was like, the new Kingdom Magic here. Kingdom one is um, there. But we are putting our Disney You Are Here mugs from Starbucks on the wall for now. We'll see what ends up being there permanently. But um, we went there got our mugs, got our coffee, and then went and saw the safari, Mm -hmm. which was fun because the last time, or the first time we went on it, we saw the lions, which was really awesome. And this time we saw giraffes that were different and elephants that were different. And And the first time we went on it, not all of the effects were working. Oh yeah, because there was a bridge excitement. Well, I don't, maybe it's one of those things you have to sit on it long enough to set it off. And she just drove on through and didn't care. Yeah. But the second time, the bridge um, decided to do its shaky thing, and and Katie and her mom almost died. We, my mom and I both have a fear of bridges, and I know it might be irrational, but bridges scare me. And we're on the bridge, and it starts moving. It was one of those things that in my head I was like, I know this is a Disney thing. I know nothing's actually happening to me. But apparently, my face did not convey that. It was awesome because my face was very scared. <laughs> it was. Mm-hmm. My heart raced a little bit. It was a little scary. It was great. Um, basically, that's all we did at Animal Kingdom that day, wasn't it? We waited it? like an hour. For yeah, it was It was a bit of a wait. Um, and we wanted to get back to Epcot because mm-hmm. it's it all about day. Epcot. And um, and really, we wanted to catch Illuminations that night. Mm-hmm. We wanted to see uh, Donald. We wanted to catch uh, the China, Reflections of China. And we also wanted to eat, which we ate tons. Um, let's start with the food thing first. And, and you wanted to shop. Um, you wanted to get some art, which you got maybe when it gets here, you've had it shipped, you can bring it on and show it on the show. Maybe, we'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll think about it. We'll and um, so going back to the food. Yes. It was Food and Wine Festival oh the whole time we were there. We ate way too much food, I it think. It didn't feel like it because it was food and wine. Cause food I don't and, like it to me. Food um, and wine is smaller portion. But it was a lot of food. It was a lot of food. Um, so what was your favorite 
food that we ate the entire in food and wine the entire week i know what your answer is my answer what's my answer your answer is the loaded mac and cheese at active eats that was very good yeah i know that was pretty um mine's probably the jamaican beef patty like i really enjoyed it and that was i mean i was expecting it to be a little bit spicier and that was a little disappointment on my end was i was like i want this to be spicier yeah i think that was why i didn't rate it as my highest yeah but it was very good flavor and it was in like a corn breading type Mm -hmm. thing and i was like i could eat this well, I like the tipsy Laird at Scotland also. That's fair. And I liked the, um, I'm trying to remember what else were favorites. I, oh, the I- Irish uh, chocolate pudding. I was going to say, thing. the warm chocolate pudding, I ate That twice. one might be my favorite. That was also. the only thing I ate twice. Um, it was my favorite dessert. <laughs> that was, I had it on Wednesday, and then I, the entire day on Thursday, I don't think I shut up about it, because I kept being like, and then we're going to go to Ireland and get the chocolate cake, right? And then we're going to get the chocolate Yes. Uh, and then I did. Mm-hmm. And it, I was very happy with it. Yes. It was so good. And it was warmer the second time because it was like very fresh. It, was, it felt like it was brand new. Coming off. Yeah, it, it was so good. Um, yeah, so then after we did all the food and wine stuff and and like literally you could spend an entire week just doing that with the 35 different booths that were there. That's not including all the regular food that's there because like that pretzel still goes down as one of my favorite things. I want another one. And... Um, it's a good pretzel. Yeah, so we enjoyed World Showcase for a while, and then we decided to go back, and we'd seen that um, Joy and uh, Sadness were, were meeting up with people, and so it was like a 20-minute wait or something. So we waited for them, and it turned out to be totally worth the wait. Um, it turned out to be one of our best interactions. And we got really lucky, because we got it only happened because we happened to look for Fast Passes on the app that morning for, for illuminations. Um, illuminations, and we got those. And we're like, well, now we don't have to wait as long, so we can go do this other thing. Yeah. And um, and so we got in there and share that, about it. So uh, the funny thing was that Joy pokes her head around the corner, and she was so excited to see all of us. And she's like, come in, come in, like, come see us. And then she sees me, and Joy freaked out because we both have blue hair. So Joy automatically is like, okay, you're my friend. Um, and then she saw that I was Disney bounding a figment, and... I had forgotten that I was Disney Bounding a Figment, so she, like, flies. I figured I, it out, didn't I? Well, that, hold on, we'll get to that. Oh, okay. But she, like, flew, and I was like, Joy, where am I flying to? And then she, like, I was like, oh, it's because I'm Figment. I'm a dragon. She mm-hmm. was like, yes, obviously. But she was uh, talking about all her islands, because her islands are on the opposite side of the mm-hmm. room, or Riley's islands. And she's pointing to the islands, and we're forgetting the names of the islands. So we're like, uh, friendship? island like on but she's pointing to something that's not an island we're like we don't know so she grabs her uh, joy grabs her host brings her host over points at it and the host is like i don't know what this one's name is i have no idea and so we're all just kind of stumped and then joy points at me and i was like is it imagination and she was like yes and I was like, okay i'm so sorry joy um but then there was also sadness and i Sadness kind of stole my heart. Sadness, I, they were both amazing. They were both incredible. Like, honestly, were, it was like they popped right out of the movie. I was going to say, they're very true to their characters. Joy was jumping all over the place and accidentally tripping over backpacks and mm-hmm. what have you. Because we, <laughs> we created... We just dumped stuff. Yeah, it was like we, moving it was in. Uh, but Joy got excited and was jumping all over the place. and was very happy to see everybody. She's twirling people. We're twirling her back. Um, and Sadness sits in the corner and talks to Mr. Daps about his glasses and talks to me about being blue and there's some really good pictures and the funny thing is we really only posed for like two seconds two like it was them. super short and everything else there was 20 something pictures everything mm-hmm. else is just pure interactions at one point sadness brought me in and kissed me and like in every picture sadness is holding my hand and it was so sweet <laughs> and I just loved them both so much, and I wish that they were here at home. In like but it's nice they that go. they're there, and that, that like it's nice to have things that are different between the two parks yeah. and, and or two it's resorts a and experience that you can only have. Mm-hmm. From there, we went, got in line for the fast pass, which was a lot longer than we were expecting, but and it turned out to be okay. We got in line at eight twenty. Oh, was it? No, okay. it was like eight oh five, and our fast pass wasn't until eight forty. But they and, let us in early. And they let us in early. Which was great. Fast passes scanned. We got a pretty good spot yeah. and filmed it. We'll get that video up as soon as we possibly can. Um, what you, You'd never seen Illuminations before. I've seen Illuminations oh, you had? before. Okay, so what'd you think of it? I thought you hadn't for Excuse some reason. Excuse me. Um, 
as a kid, I just appreciated fire. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's really what I remembered about it. I remembered the globe, and I remembered fire, and I remember the globe opening. Mm-hmm. That's apparently as a 13-year-old or 12-year-old, however old I was, that's apparently what you care about. That's okay. Um, but I really thought that it was interesting, and like the way that they'd really pull together all of the themes of Epcot and the whole many nations, one world type thing. Um, and all the it's cultures. a show I could watch over and over again. I really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's very different um it's not necessarily as fast i feel like it's almost an acquired taste like the first time i saw it i remember sitting there and going huh that was kind of cool and and i just didn't get it but then i saw it a couple more times i was like oh i really like this and and now it's like i can never see it too many times on a trip it's almost uh harder for like a casual watcher because you almost you want for a nighttime spectacular something upbeat and you want something in your face in your face with yeah poppy music and disney themed and this is something totally not fitting into that category Mm -hmm. um it's not necessarily disney themed it's there's no disney music there's not i mean there's great fireworks which makes me wonder how long it'll actually last but hey it's lasted however long it's been yeah um but i think it's a really good show that real is true to Epcot, and that's what matters. Mm-hmm. It's true to World Showcase. So we ended the trip by going uh, just as we started at Raglan Road, and it was a nice bookend of the whole thing. Um, now, having been to Walt Disney World for your birthday trip, yes. what are maybe one or two top experiences that came out of this trip that, oh. that stick out to you as we're that's hard. now back here in California oh in, in a different time zone and one day away? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, There were so many things that were very specific to the people I was with and the experiences. I'm getting very emotional thinking about the fact that Florida's actually over. Um, (laughs) Skipper Canteen was one of them. Cool. Um, Because that was just incredibly special and we had a fantastic waiter who was playing Mm -hmm. into the whole thing. And um, (laughs) and And his manager was hilarious. And managers were playing into it. Yeah, that was great. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. So Skipper Canteen. Ca- California Grill? California Grill. So are, food things. That's I love. I do okay. love food. Um, but there was... that's. It's just so difficult because there's every trip... I talked to somebody today that I work with for an hour about this entire trip because I could not say enough good things. It was... Obviously, I mean, I have one other trip to compare it to, but it was my best trip to Disney World. Um, I could not ask for a better birthday like it was fantastic and and hats off to all the disney cast members at walt disney world they were absolutely fantastic the entire trip um above and beyond all the time i mean i if if i were if i were able to i would hand out probably dozens if not hundreds of cast compliments from this last trip and uh they were all so caring and all of them would have gone out of their way to fix anything it doesn't matter but they didn't have to because everything was thought of ahead of time and they were just being so um incredible and um so hats off to um to all of our walt disney world friends out there and uh, thank you for a fantastic week uh, we're looking forward to uh the next time we go we should have a dap strip or something it'd be we great should. um but uh that is all the time for we have this part two version uh episode we don't do this very often of we geeks don't. corner um of katie's birthday at walt disney world we hope you will rejoin us this coming week for our halloween episode we'll see what happens for that i'm sure it'll be interesting because it always is but for now we'll just see you around the corner Here at Daps Magic, we believe it's awesome to be a geek, especially a Disney geek. So we make videos that cover just that, whether it's Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, Indiana Jones, anything like that, we might do a video about it, especially Disneyland. So if you like those kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe. We'd love to geek out with you. Also go to dapsmagic.com where you can read our coverage about all of those same things as well. But most of all, we just love to geek out with you, and we'd love to see you in the parks. Make it a great day, everybody.